Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Keeneland Racecourse. We're on Wednesday, it's 23rd of October 2024. I'm going to look at the third race from Keeneland, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the third from Keeneland, which is a very good race. It's a starter allowance race, purse going for going for a purse $63,000. Race is for three year olds and upwards here, which never start for a claim price $50,000 or less. We have a field of nine horses going. 1900 meters or a mile 3 16th on the Keeneland dirt course. I'm going to go take the number six horse, Curlin's Gesture, as a top selection. 6594 for me in the Superfecta. 6594 Super, top selection, six horse, Curlin's Gesture. This four year old call by Curlin here. Uh, Marianne Schrever trains. Luan Machado gets some mounts. The horse's most recent out again, the 25th of September, Churchill, mile 16th in a start allowance race for 50000 and he finished second by a neck that day, and he saw a good pace to close up into. He sat back early. He, he was really grinding it out late. He just missed. He ran his heart out. 83 buyer, test best of his, um, cooked, uh, tied best of his career. Coming here to a longer trip, which I think should suit him well. Fast pace, which should suit him well. Training well. I think he's sitting on that very good run here today. He ran two back in a 50,000 claimer at Alice over the mile. 17th of August, he saw a good pace to close up into, and he did just that. Went by a neck, you know, sat back early. After not the best beginnings and not the best of, um, you know, races going into that kind of shoe pin turn at Ellis with those, where those mile races start but um, he settled well down the back stretch he quickened up nicely after that and he ran away with it a good good run there and then first heart winners at Ellis uh, in the lounge race over the mile in July he finished 6 by 6 and a half lengths that day and from the inside I, I just don't think those mile races at Ellis are to his liking because he really never got going he won here on, on the 11th of May going 7 and a half and a maiden 100,000 one of my four lengths on the front and he really took off clear he's training well quite well at the Churchill Down training center center. He can win. I would use him on the ticket. I think the five horse unstable prince for David Jacobson and uh, Ramon Vasquez can win also. He was a winner four back at Saratoga over the Wilson Mile, claiming 25,000. Winning by three and three quarter lengths, closing up from nowhere after a horrible beginning. He really took off clear. Came back to run a laurel over the seven furlongs and optional 20, where he finished second by four and a half lengths, where he was wide, and, and he just kind of plodded along. Came back to run at the Wilson Mile a week later, where he had a, a, a decent second place finish behind Yo Daddy, who really took off clear. But this horse, he ran his heart out 22 to 1. I think came back to run at Aqueduct and start a lounge race over the one turn mile where he had an okay third. I think coming back around two turns for the first time in quite a few minutes to really suit him well. I'll give him a shot here on the ticket. But to recount my selections for the third from Keeneland, gonna take the six horse curl and jester. Give kudos to the five horse unstable prince. Six five nine four super, six five in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kit five. Good luck everyone.